Hello, I'm Tammy Green, and this is your week in Forex from Maxi Forex. Today, we'll review last week's market highlights with financial analyst Martin Smith. Last week, we saw the resignation of Japan's prime minister and the selection of his replacement. There was discussion last week of a possible rate hike in the United States, as officials are encouraging the idea of raising it to one percent in the hopes of making the dollar gain. G20 meetings are continuing as the eurozone crisis is still a major issue for the global economy. So now let's welcome Martin Smith to give us his insight on these and other issues in the forex market. Welcome, Martin. Thanks, Tammy. So, can you tell us a little bit about Japan's new PM? Uh, sure. Uh, Naoto Ken uh, was a former finance minister and a well-known fiscal conservative, known as a nonconformist, and was elected on Friday to be the new prime minister of Japan. Now, many are putting their hope in this man that he can take the bold steps necessary to fix the struggling public finances of Japan. Keep in mind that this will be Japan's fifth prime minister in three years. He has the duty of reining in the huge public debt, engineering growth in an ever-aging society, and as well as managing ties with the U.S. and China. Tell us about Hatoyama, the prime minister that just resigned. Well, Yuko Hatoyama was unpopular and quit last week ahead of an upper house poll. It is expected in July that the ruling bloc needs to win to avoid policy deadlock. Now, Hatayama also promised to wrestle control of policy from bureaucrats and give consumers more cash to stimulate domestic demand. Now, his somewhat abrupt departure has raised concerns among investors that the government will delay efforts to thrash out plans due this month to cut public debt and craft a growth strategy. It's also worth noting that President Obama had sometimes rocky relations with Hatoyama, and his administration seems to be welcoming Kan's election. So, how exactly did this impact the markets? Well, Japan's currency was headed for a weekly drop versus the euro after Kan became prime minister. Uh, On to another yet very important topic: the dollar is showing signs that a strong recovery is very probable. The overall fundamentals remain supportive of the dollar. I foresee that the dollar will gradually strengthen against the euro. It's also notable that the U.S. economy added 536,000 jobs last month, the most since 1983. What about the rumors that have been going around that there'll be an increase in the federal fund rate? Uh, well, Tammy, there are important facts to support this rumor. Kansas City Fed President Thomas Honig said on Wednesday that the U.S. economic recovery has the momentum to sustain itself, and called for an increase in the target federal fund rate to one percent by the end of the summer. Now, Honig has dissented on the Fed's pledge to keep its benchmark at zero to 0.25 percent for an extended period. It has become apparent that the Fed will be the first to come out of a stimulus measure among G3 nations. And this outlook will give the dollar some yield advantage over rival currencies. Isn't Honig a known anti-inflation hawk? He sure is. He says that the U.S. central bank should raise its benchmark federal fund rates to avoid being slow in responding to the recovery. Before we finish, do you have any technicals you can share with us this week? Sure,、um, I'll review a few.、Uh, the dollar yen is trading sharply higher, strengthened by greater demand for risky assets. And on speculation that the ca- can the new prime minister will favour a weaker currency,、uh, look for upside pressure this June to continue to drive the Japanese yen higher, as long as it remains over the 61.80 retracement level at 92.41. Now, a failure to hold this level could mean another test at 91.61.、Uh, the euro dollar continues to remain inside a tight range, indicating impending volatility. Uh, watch for a change in trend and an acceleration to the upside on a trade through 124.53.、Uh, a breakthrough through, through the low of the week at 121.10 is likely to attract more hedge fund selling pressure. Well, either way, this market seems to be set up for a major move. It just it's just waiting for fresh news to act as the catalyst. Well, thank you, Martin, for joining us this week. Until next week, I'm Tammy, and be sure to visit us at maxiforex.ru. Thank、you